What's going on YouTube? It's Playboy Shot and we're back with another video. So today we're gonna be doing a story time of when I got arrested for the first time. Before we get into the story time, I need you to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you check out all the new videos. And uh, yeah, so this is gonna be a story time of when I went to jail and got arrested for the first time. And it actually happened with one of my best friends and it takes place back in March, like mid to end March. And it was actually during spring break. So y'all make sure y'all watch the whole video and let's get straight into it. So like I said, this happened back in March. Uh, it was during spring break. So me and my friend, we usually go up there like every year during spring break. So we had planned to go up there for like one whole week. We went and got an Airbnb for the whole week. And uh, yeah, we were just planning to go up there, have fun, uh, do the normal spring break activities, but then also record YouTube videos every day for the channel. So the first half of the week went as planned. During the day, we would go to the beach, uh, record a video, go to the daytime parties. Then at night, we had some uh, VIP passes. I don't know if y'all know, but there's uh, rock star events and stuff like that. So if you have a VIP pass, you get into the parties, the clubs for free. Well, not for free, but for the whole week, you don't gotta pay because you already paid for the pass. Anyways, towards the end of the week, that's where it all went wrong. It went wrong, 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 wrong. Like, bad. This is one thing I never thought would happen, but anyways, it happened. So this just is, even though it's a story time, learn something from it. Watch how you move, move smarter, take my advice. Don't put yourself in situations where this could even happen. But anyway, the day, I think it was on a Thursday, started off normal. We went to record some videos. Uh, after that, we put the camera up. During the day, we went to the beach, uh, the beach for the parties. So afterwards, we had some friends out there that also had an Airbnb. And they told us uh, to come pregame with them and then all go to the club together at night. But before we went over to pregame with them, we had a little pregame at our Airbnb, so we were up in there, we got the Henny, we got the Surat, we got all of that. We're down in it, down in it, down in it. So we're already feeling ourselves, and we were planning to uh, all just walk to uh, the club at night. So we went ahead, we were gonna leave our car there, at our Airbnb, and just walk to there. To there. So we walk over there, we're already turned, you feel me? <laughs> Anyways, we go over there, they meet us at the door with drinks and like, let's go, let's turn up, let's turn up. So we're in there, we're turning up, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we in there. Hey. <laughs> what? We're having like a little mini party in there. So like an hour goes by, like nobody's even thinking about the club anymore. We're just all lit. So I was like, yo, we should probably go to the club soon. Like that house gonna close in like two hours. So they're like, oh yeah, y'all right. So then my friend, he looked down, he didn't have his VIP pass. He was like, damn, I gotta go get that. So they're like, oh, bet, y'all just run and go get uh, the VIP pass and meet us back here. We'll all go to the club. Nick. Anyways, we start, uh, we're already faded. So then there was two girls that were at that Airbnb. They were like, we'll just walk with y'all. Like, we'll walk back with y'all and make sure everything is good. So they start walking back with us. We're walking. We're already faded, like I said. So my friend, he's falling in the street. I'm stumbling, we're trying to get back. Uh, in South Positive, they have these buses that give like free rides if you need it. That way, you need to get to where you need to be. So we were walking, and then one of those buses pulled up, and they are like, hey, do y'all need a ride? And I'm like, nah, we're good. We're just going to our Airbnb. Like, we're already close, we're good. And the girls were like, y'all should just take it. Like, it'll be easier. Like, y'all don't have to worry about walking or whatever. So we hopped in, we are just like, fine, it. We hopped in. They take us to the street, like where our Airbnb is, but not like the actual, like, place it's just the end of the street so we thank them we get out we're walking and i'm still stumbling my friends falling i'm picking them up so we get to our airbnb and there's a security guard so he basically just makes sure that uh like whether you're like you basically when you get the rooms at the airbnb they give you like a like a little ticket or whatever to make sure that they know that you stay there so like they don't you don't have like random people trespassing or whatever so we go and then he was like he sees us like that we're faded or whatever he was like we can't y'all can't be out on the streets like that like y'all are intoxicated or whatever and i'm like nah we're good like we're just gonna we're i was like we stay here like we got a room here we're not gonna go anywhere like we're just gonna be in for the night we're not driving none of that he's like i can't i still can't have it blah, blah, blah. so i'm not gonna listen to him anymore like i'm like let's just go let's go upstairs at this, I, at this point i didn't realize he was calling the cops we're walking up there, we're walking up there, and my friend, like, he's had the room key, or the key to the room, so I'm just like, bro, hurry up, we get to the top of the stairs, I'm like, hurry up, let's get in there, let's get in there. So he pulls out a key, I'm thinking it's the room key, he's trying to unlock it, it was his car key up all the time, I'm like, bruh. So the security guard had followed us up there, 
we're still standing there. Next, you know, the cops pull up and we just look down like the stairs and we can see them. They're coming up. I'm like, so the cops come up and just tell us like we're under arrest, whatever. They put us in the handcuffs. I'm just like, damn, bro. And like usually out there, like I've been out there like the last like, three years in a row, so I ain't never like had no problems. So I thought they were gonna be cool. No sir, they put us right in that cop car. Well, I'm banging my head on the wall. <laughs> I just like I was faded, so I mean I was already acting out of pocket, but I was just like I was just pissed if anything. I was trying to like break out the cuffs and stuff. So next thing you know, they take us to the police station. They take us to processing or whatever. And all I remember is uh, like there was helicopters in there like laughing and shit, like just being is already off the rip. But then there was one, he was white, bro. He was, he just looked like he was racist, bro. And he was giving my friend a hard time. My friend was so gone that he couldn't even like speak. So I remember I was just like, bro, what the fuck? Like, what do you think is funny, bro? They were like, like, hey, chill out. You're already in enough trouble. I was like, bro, I, at this point, I didn't care. Like, I'm already here. Like, I, was, I remember I kept trying to get out of my, the handcuffs. Like, and when I finally got out, like, I had bruises all over my wrist trying to get them hose off. But uh, I just remember, like, bro, spazzing out, bro, spazzing out. I was like, bro, if I was outside these cuffs, bro, if he was on the street, I'd whoop your ass. And at one point, he just shut up and he was just smiling. He was just looking at me. And they were just like, um, like, you're gonna get yourself in more trouble, bro. I was like, I'm not trying to hear that. So at that point, they were about to put us in the cell, but there was like a main holding cell that could hold like a decent amount of people. They wanted to put my friend in there, but they put me in this little ass one, bro. They, like, they put me in this little one. I was in there by myself at first, but then two more people ended up coming in there that night. Somehow, they went in, they were in and out within an hour, bro, but they kept us in there for a long time, bro. Like, they, they were like, you're gonna get a phone call within an hour, we'll bring you all food, bro. I'm in there for like five, six hours, bro, and it's already, it's like midnight when I went in there, so it's like five in the morning, bro. I still ain't ate, still ain't got my phone call. I'm not sleeping, because I'm trying to figure out what's going on. So eventually, they took me out of that cell like when it was early in the morning, probably like seven or eight. They moved me over to the other one where like the big one. So I see my friend in there. And uh, yeah, so at that point we still had eight, nothing like that. We're just all in there. Like it's a pretty decent amount of people, probably like 10, 15 people. So we're in there talking like what's gonna happen. Cause most of us were, I mean, some of them were in there for other stuff, but most of us were in there for something due to spring break, like mainly the same thing. So they're all like, we're probably gonna talk to the judge, probably gonna get out here like today, like later today. So eventually, finally they brought us some food. They were complaining about the food, but I ain't gonna lie. It was pretty good. It was like a peanut butter jelly sandwich, some Fritos. I wasn't tripping, I was happy. I was just hungry as fuck, so I was trying to eat. And um, <laughs> so eventually they called us out, all out. So we went to, we were all in one courtroom. It was just one judge. I mean, we all knew what we were pretty much there for. It's not like we didn't know we were guilty. They were just telling us like what we we're gonna have to pay, what we we're gonna have to do. So after that, we, um, they put us back in the cell. They each give, they gave us each a phone call, and they were basically telling us that like if we could go ahead and pay for it, like we could just get out right now. If you can't pay for it, then you're gonna have to do time served. Which for me and my friend, I don't know about everybody else, but that would have been like three days because I think uh, like three days you would have to stay in three days and you wouldn't have to pay. I was like, forget that, I'm just gonna go ahead and pay. But I didn't have my, my, my me and my friend's car was back at the Airbnb. So I, whenever I came up to me to go talk to the, uh, the processing people, I was like, I can pay for it. I just can't pay for it now. I, I would have to go back to Airbnb, Airbnb and get my car. So they went ahead and set up like a payment plan where I wouldn't have to pay necessarily that day, but I would be able to get out. So I get out. I'm thinking they're gonna do the same thing for my friend, but I, he calls me and they're like, uh, they're not gonna set me up for a payment plan. Like I either have to pay now or I'm gonna have to time serve. But they're gonna uh, close the processing thing within like two hours. So you gotta go ahead and bail me out. Or I'm gonna have to stay another night. So I had to figure out how to get a ride from wherever I was to like back to the Airbnb. So I figured that out. By the time I get back, they're about to close in like 30 minutes. So I had to hurry. So I went ahead and bailed my friend out. All that happened and got out. So for the rest of the week, it was like a different vibe, bro. Like we were good, like we were still having a good time, but like that, like it just killed like the perfect vibe that we had for the whole trip, bro. Like I was pissed, but it is what it is. It's just like a story time that we could look back at and laugh at now, but it already happened. But yeah, like I said, it takes, I mean, I can look back and just laugh at it, but I still gotta learn. I can't be doing that. Should never happen to begin with, but if anything, learn that you should not, like you gotta watch how you move and don't like, just don't put yourself in those situations and be smart about it. Uh, already, and as you get older, you learn things. You like, like you live and you learn, you know. So, 
Anyways, that happened, but if you like the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if y'all want more story times, let me know. Make sure y'all follow the Instagram, uh, Snapchat, Twitter, all that. That's where I promote my stuff, so you'll know uh, what's coming next, and you can keep in touch with me. Give me ideas, or if y'all have, if any of y'all are YouTubers or whatever, y'all want to collab, let me know. Uh, especially in Houston, I know there's a lot of YouTubers in Houston, bro. I'm down to collab with anybody. Just let me know. Uh, if y'all ready to grind, I'm ready to grind too. So let's go. Anyways, with Rodney 20K, appreciate all the love and support. And yeah, it's Playboy Shabby, and we out.